Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how you can animate a door inside your level. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Here in this example, I have a fence which can be opened without a switch. I can I can get past through this fence, so I have to turn on the switch. Here's our little switch. Let's turn it on. And that fence is now opening. And now I can move forward and notice the one thing that the switch is now unusable. You can't use uh, this switch anymore. So that's the good thing about a switch. You can do this by using the fence and animating it using track view. Let me choose one fence. Now the next step is to add a switch which you can get from the entity tab. If I go and press the switch, by default it says use light switch but we can change the message this switch is not linked to this fan so it's not going to do anything for now Let's animate this door fence using track view. We have to add the selected entity and mark the initial position. And we're gonna cut short this by let's say three seconds or two seconds, whatever you want. Then we have to record each and every event from here on. We gonna move this and stay a little bit. Now we're gonna assign the switch to the fence. We have to add the selected entity which is our switch and also the animation sequence that is our fence which is going to animate and link this program as I'm showing you. let's try this should work yes it's animating but there is no audio and also if we press this switch once it's no longer usable it means you can't press it anymore
now the next step is to add some sound to our fans which you can do by using trigger inside your track view put the duration to your actual duration of the track view sequence this one out in our game yes it's happening wow you can use similar examples like on a door closed on a closed door like yeah so guys thank you thanks for watching do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already bye bye